Alright, so when you're talking about circles or reading about circles or trying to describe circles yourself, there are a lot of words that you can use um, when, when describing circles and, or, or understanding circles. Um, so let's get comfortable with that vocabulary. And I've got some of the basic concepts here. And I've written them all down and I'll, I'll discuss them as well and then I'll, I'll just point them out on an actual circle and hopefully all together uh, you'll begin to, to get comfortable with um, what, what these different words mean and how they relate to each other. So let's, let's check it out. So the center of a circle is that point in the middle from which all the points on the circle are equidistant or, or the same distance. So this is the actual circle itself and it's made up of an infinite number of points that are all a certain distance away from the center. So um, pretend like this distance is 10 miles. Okay, it's a giant circle. Um, so from this point to the center is 10 miles, from this point to the center is 10 miles, from this point to the center is 10 miles. They're all equidistant or equally distant from the center and that's what makes that the center. It's the point from which all the points on the circle are equidistant. Alright, diameter. Um, a diameter is a line segment, uh, so it's a part of a line, it's not infinitely long. Um, it's got a definite length. A line segment which passes through the center and whose two endpoints are on the circle itself. So here's a diameter. Um, endpoint on the circle, passing through the center, endpoint on the circle. Uh, here's another diameter. Endpoint on the circle, passing through the center, endpoint on the circle. So you're going to draw any number of, of diameters um, on a circle, but they'll all, all have the same length. Okay. So when you when you talk about the diameter of a circle, um, you're talking about the length of of any of those diameter lines. Um, yes, and the, and they have to be the same length because if by definition uh, the the points on a circle are all equally distant from the center, well, a diameter would be. Um, so we said like uh, pretend this distance was 10 miles. Okay, so from here to here would be 10 miles. And from here to here would be 10 miles, or so a total of 20 miles. Here to here would be 10 miles. Here to here would be 10 miles. So a total of 20 miles, and that'd be the same for any diameter that you would you would draw. So you can draw any any diameter line. Um, there's an infinite number of lines that you could draw and say that's the diameter, but there will only be one actual length of uh, diameter. The, all the diameters will be the same length. So in this case, 20 miles. It'll depend on what circle you're dealing with. 20 a 20 mile uh, a circle with a 20 mile diameter would, would be a pretty big circle. Um, okay, so that, that's what a diameter is. Line segment which passes through the center whose two endpoints are on the circle. A radius is similar. Uh, it's a, a line segment whose two endpoints are the center of the circle and then a point on the circle. So um, endpoint in the center, endpoint on the circle. Uh, endpoint center, endpoint circle. Endpoint center and point on the circle. So these would all be considered radii. Um, and that's the plural of radius. And what you can see is that a diameter would be uh, made up of two radii. So uh, a radius would be um, would be an, a line segment with an endpoint on the circle and an endpoint in the center. So we've got radius and then endpoint in the center, endpoint on the circle, another radius. So together they would make a diameter, uh, which has two endpoints on the circle, boom, boom, and passes through the center. So whatever length radius you have, the diameter will be twice that. Or whatever length diameter you have, the radius will be half that. Cool. So a chord is a line segment whose two endpoints are on the circle. So it doesn't have to pass through the center. It could be a line segment that connects any two points in the circle. So here's one on the circle to on the circle, oops, on the circle to on the circle, I could draw a new one, um, let's just say here to, let's make a kind of a short chord there, um, on the circle to on the circle, so any of those would be considered a chord. So what you can see is the diameter is a special kind of chord, which not only has two endpoints on the circle, it's not only just connecting two points on the circle, but it also happens to pass through the center. All right, circumference. Circum just means to go around, like 
Maybe you have heard of Magellan, I think it was, who circumnavigated the globe for the first time. That means going around the whole globe. Um, the circumference of a circle is the distance all the way around the circle. So you could you could circumnavigate the whole circle. Start here, sail, 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 end up where you started. Um, so the circumference is the distance all the way around the circle. Now we get to an awesome number, which took many, many, many uh, years of hard work and much effort by many scientists and philosophers to uh, to figure out to any degree of precision. And that number is called pi, and um, it's just that's the Greek letter that stands for it. Um, this Greek letter pi kind of like that. I'm not really writing that very well. Um, you can write it in English as PI. So on your calculator, it might look like this. It might look like this. And pi, pi is a special number. It's the ratio of a circle's circumference, the distance all the way around, to its diameter, the distance um, from a point on the circle to a point on the circle that passes through the center. And that ratio is the same for every single circle in the known universe. Uh, any circle you draw, that ratio of, of the distance all the way around to its diameter will be the same. And that, and that ratio is approximately 3.14, uh, but actually pi is an irrational number, and so these decimals will go on forever without any uh, discernible pattern that, that we know of. And uh, people have figured out quite a few digits of pi, and actually, it's kind of a thing for people to try to, to memorize a bunch of digit, digits of pi. Uh, me, personally, I only have two digits memorized, 3.14. 3 uh, but uh, some people have uh, gone, to, gone to some extremes with memorizing digits of pi. Actually, I put here, for your edification, the world record for number of digits of pi memorized is held by Lu Chao, um, a Chinese student who spent... 24 hours and 4 minutes reciting the first 67,890 digits of pi. So uh, see if you can top that. See if you can figure. Um, look up the uh, the digits of pi. See how many you can memorize. See if you can top Lu Chao. Uh, that's the challenge. Good luck.